Folks, you ever get punished for your own hubris? I wish I could say it's never happened to me, but in fact, it did just the other day when we ran a tournament for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. This is the JM Cup tournament series. Every month, me and the people in my Discord switch to a new game. We learn it together, and we run a tournament for it. And last month, we did Marvel vs. Capcom 2 ratio rule set, which if you don't know, you have seven points to build a team out of. We use Justin Wong's tier list for which characters are worth which amount of points. You gotta build a team that's seven points or less. And I was maybe feeling pretty confident. I've been playing Marvel 2 quite a bit lately since it got rollback on Fightcade. And I thought I had it in the bag. But let's just say, uh, you know, I might have gotten corrected a little bit. I might have gotten put in my place. Uh, both by some of my viewers as well as some ringers who came in who were very experienced players with the game. Uh, who were able to put all of us in our place a little bit. So it was a lot of fun. I definitely enjoyed it, but I may be a little bit ashamed of the results, so be gentle on me in the comments, okay guys? But I'm going to show you some of my pain so you guys can enjoy the matches as well. Uh, but if you guys could just do me one big favor, if you don't know, I took two weeks off. This is the longest vacation I've ever had since I've started being a full-time YouTuber. And this has destroyed me on the algorithm. YouTube forgot I exist. My videos aren't getting shown to anybody. So if you guys could do me just a big favor, hit the like button if you don't mind. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if there's a game that you would like to see us run a tournament for in the future, use the comments down below and let me know. It would really help me out and help get the video shown to more people. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the matches. Hope you enjoy, guys. All right. And, you know, Mixtape was trying to give me crap about, like, oh, you got to beat me with Sentinel? Listen, I'm going to pick the boys, okay? The boys have to make an appearance at least once this tournament. So we're going we're gonna to pick the boys. And then if I lose, I'm switching. <laughs> I hope I don't lose, but if I do lose, I'm switching. Ooh, and I get switch glitch, and he doesn't, so that's good news. Get him! I'm spinning. I'm spinning the stick. Turn Geef red. Oh, he fell out. That was kind of a miracle tech. Ooh, the bubble, the Michael Buble. Omega strike. We bait those. Samusu. Ooh, nice confirm. Hold up. Okay, okay, hold up. So you're saying there's a chance. Yeah, Mix is, he do, he's got those young man confirms for sure. Those young man confirms. All right. Oh, he jumped out of my opening gambit. Ooh, hold up. Mm. All right, we'll take it. See, his confirms are real, guys. Uh-oh. Get 
get him. Oh, I tried to raw super. Okay. I did not mean to do that. Check this out, guys. Oh, I missed the DHC. We protect Geef in this house. <gasps> Woo! Yeah, it's super safe. Thank you for protecting me, Geef! <laughs> oh! Okay, we got lucky. Oh, jeez. Oh! Wait! I could still lose. I can't block. Do I switch? Do I switch to Sentinel? I can't. I have to run it back with the boys. I have to run it back with the boys, chat. I have to go full bully mode and losers. Guys, I'm going to win. I'm not going to losers. Get out of here. Oh, God. He got to the other side. Yep. All right, we baited, kind of. Oh, same side. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's bad. Wait, okay, that's kind of bad. No, I got crossed up. Okay, chipped out Charlie. No chip on Iceman. <gasps> Not like this. Hit him. Oh no, okay. But Gif, he's not he's not armored, so we can block. Oh, I missed my 360. It's fine. It's not enough. It's not enough. It's not enough. I lost. 
Oh, mixtape takes it, bro. Nick mixtape takes it. <laughs> oh, the tragedy. The tragedy. Skarm beat Jayford, and now is going to fight me. I do have a plan. I do have a plan, like I said. And I'm not going to say that you guys should bet against me, but I'm going to say that if you do bet against me, I understand. Sentinel is a pretty good pick against Juggernaut. The Juggernaut was meant to counterpick uh, Sansan. Ooh, nice punish. Yeah, that's a, a real combo on Juggernaut. Oh, what? I landed on it! All right, we got baited. Oh, reset. It's fine. This is all part of the plan, guys. In case there was any doubt, this was all part of the plan. All right. Oh, he flew above. Okay, this is bad. This is actually bad. Oh! Okay, this is bad. I wasn't ready for Sentinel. All right, all right, all right, all right. The plan failed. All right, I have to pick Sentinel. <laughs> I have to pick, I have to try to win the Sentinel mirror. I think it's possible. The juggernaut, the juggernaut pick was no good. That was that was a, a Sanson counter pick. Oh jeez. Oh, I got crossed up. What? What? How is he dead already? Bro! Oh, I got crossed up. Unblockable after the flash. Uh, I tried for the counter call. All right. All five meters. Woo! Oh, I didn't have unfly. Nice. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, Sentinel! All right, all right, GG's, GG's. <laughs> oh man, at least I killed a Mingo, right guys? <laughs> it only took all five meters, but at least I killed a Mingo. The, the, juggernaut, pick was, the juggernaut pick was a boondoggle, for sure. The Juggernaut pick was a mistake. Cause I thought you were gonna pick Sansan. All right, so what is what? Scar Scarm running Omega Red, Thanos, Sansan. I mean, we've all seen what this Sansan can do, but X Prominence is known to be X Prominence is known to be scary. <laughs> Sorry for the inconvenience. <laughs> understood. Understood. Oh yeah, there's no bet. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I, I'm a little late, but I'll I'll, I'll start it. Um, just prom promise that, uh, you're not going to take what's happening on screen right now into account. Yeah, Fightcade has rollback now for, uh, Marvel 2. 
Yo, the lightning in the background looking mad spooky. We're on the Ruby Heart stage. Unfortunately, no one actually playing Ruby Heart. Ooh, get the launch. Now what's the mix? 50-50 here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, that was backside. All right, Omega Destroyer does get blocked, but safety HC. And we're continuing to punish Ken. Not quite, just kidding. Skarm really brought this one back. Rogue is dead. In comes Akuma. In comes the Coomer. Uh-oh. 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 Giving him the Zuck. That's going to do a ton of damage. Ken Anchor coming in. Nice launcher, though. Looks like a weird side switch happened. Wasn't able to get the Tatsu combo there. Yo, trying to super through the super. Doesn't work out. Oh, DP invincibility through the super. Yo, and to show you Rapa. Okay, there's still a chance. So you're saying there's a... T okay, okay, I lied, I lied, I lied, I lied. Okay. All right. Get ready to kick butt. Whoa, Rogue is going ham. That was a good roll, though, to try to get out of the mix-up. Oh, but yeah, Rogue has such good assist punishes, actually. It's another reason why she's such a good character. She can very freely punish assists while staying safe herself. Nice combo. Here's the mix. The four-way mix does get blocked. Oh, punishing the assist all day. Bro, X-Prominence is playing out of his mind right now. And then the throw reset chases the tech. Akuma connects. This man is goaded. All right, safety HC. All right, using the bubble. Oh, no. Oh, Ken. Okay, gets to the other side, though. And we're going to see the DHC glitch. Easy kill on Thanos. All right, Shinryuken. This is looking really tough for Skarm. Ooh, okay, the, the squiggly arms. Oh, Mega Strike. Okay, it's 1-1, one, one, boys. I swear to God, if this crashes, if this crashes, I'm going to flip this table. Okay, okay, please. Please, no crash. Dude, X-Prominence Rogue is... Oh, we are getting the counter pick. Colossus, Thanos, and Son Son. All right. I've done I've done the mental math. I've I've pulled out the TI eighty three and I found that this does add up to seven points. So obviously Rogue much much faster than Colossus, but Colossus got that damage and somehow that does connect. That combo always seems so fake. Oh, that's huge damage, and he has applied the armor. Oh, but throw beats armor. Did you guys know that? Throw is has been known from time to time to beat armor. Ooh, definitely seeing some matchup experience here from X Prominence, and we are gonna see a DHC glitch kill. We love to see it. No, oh, he drops! I jinxed it! I'm sorry! Okay, Raw Tag gets away with it. Raw Super, Raw Tag's into the Super. Super into Super doesn't connect. Bada bing, bada booper. You gotta watch out for that Super. Okay, the Sansan -san assist plus bubble zoning strats. This is so close right now. Skarm is ahead on the life total, but his strongest character, Colossus, is majorly bleeding. But really, actually, we all know that Sansan -san is uh, Skarm's strongest character, so maybe I'm speaking too soon. You got hit by the bubble. Uh-oh, but Rogue Akuma, very, very strong. We don't need Ken. Oh! Get ready, DHC glitch. I don't think this is going to be enough meter to kill. All right, just goes for a knockdown. Super is going to beat the Super. Baits out the Colossus. Raw tag, unfortunate. Not going to kill, though, I don't think. <gasps> the peach? I could eat a peach for hours. Oh, that killed. Akuma's coming in solo. Woo. Okay, this... Oh, Skarm brought that one back, man. That was crazy. That was crazy, man. Well played. Well played. GG's. 
The Onacaris. Amingo's so scary, man, though. Even though this is a five point team. The synergy. Ooh, getting the assist punish there. Jeez, this Amingo is going ham! Oof, so many hits. Not enough to kill, though. Yeah, that super is actually better than it looks because it hits on... It, it, like, you don't have time to block after the flash, so if you're not blocking the right way, uh, there's nothing you can do. And now we got the... What is this combo, bro? Bro, what's happening? Oh, and we got the, the assist infinite. All right, that's going to be a quick game one. Quick game one to Skarm. I feel like character select screen takes longer than the actual match, man. <laughs> that's crazy. A new opponent is ready to face you. Yeah, 69 seconds, true, nice. You guys ever you guys ever go to a tournament and you bet odd or even? <laughs> that's how you know that's how you know that the FGC the FGC is full of degenerate gamblers. Is that people will bet will the match end with an odd or even number on the timer or people will bet first hit. Those are those are common bets at fighting game tournaments. That's how you know. All right, Amingo trying to get in there with the jalapenos. Ooh, the big launcher. Oh, the 50-50. Jeez, it's not really a 50-50, I guess. It's just like a canned cross-up, but that that's another, another cross-up right there. Damn. And into the peach. Muncha, muncha. And it's crazy that she even gets like an OTG there. Ooh, okay, this is going to be big lightning damage on Sansan. I feel like this is a good strat for perfect. Like, yeah, you can get outplayed, but at the end of the day, Silver Samurai Lightning can just win you the game, but it's not gonna win this one because Silver Samurai is going down. Shine! Doria! Doria! Yeah, yeah. All right, he powers up. The automatic power up. But it's not going to matter. All right. Skarm didn't get the 69 that time. Everybody everybody who bet on an even, you guys all win that. All right, Amingo. Oh, we got... I just noticed... <laughs> I didn't even notice there was a character change. We got Anakaris Juggernaut BB Hood. We're not going for Juggernaut Power Up Glitch. Which honestly I think is fair. Oh god, the 50-50. Because when I tried Juggernaut Glitch against Skarm, he punished my raw tag so hard <laughs> that I regretted it forever. So it might be safer to just not go for it. But wow, the upward super. But now you got you got two meters on Big Papa Jugs. That BB Hood assist is actually putting in major work here. Are you kidding me? In grand finals? Oh my god. It, by the way, it is tournament legal. This is this is a little known uh This is a little known um tournament rule is that after you reset the bracket, you are allowed to change characters. That that is a very rare thing that doesn't come up often. But technically it is a new match, and so you are allowed to change characters. So Skarm with the Sentinel pick here. All right, let's go. New set, 0-0. Zero, zero. Hopefully that's the last crash of the tournament. Oofa doofa. Okay, mixtape. Or uh, not mixtape. Perfect orange. I'm sorry. I was reading chat and I saw the word mixtape. Perfect is going in with the rushdown on a Karis. Ooh, floating, floating above where Chun Li assist can reach. There's no Sansan, so that is making the strategy look a little bit easier. Oh no, the fallout, the vertical, just the tip though. Not too much damage. Rocket punch. 
Rocket punch. Go, Minne. Go, Minne. Oof. Yo, Sentinel is uh, wreaking havoc. Oh, misses. Standing fierce. All right, the uppercut assist from Chun Li. Trying to get in there with Colossus, but it's not going to work out. Oof! The Chippos. Oof! Flying under. Frying pan. All right, Skarm's up 1 0. Let's check the betting markets, guys. Wow! 27% bet on perfect. I will say, you guys are very brave. You guys are very, very brave. Can you have fun with any three characters or do you need to think about team synergy? Well, you can have fun with anyone you want. Uh, but I would say to make a team that is good at winning, you do kind of have to think about synergy, yeah. But the thing is like, the, the characters have so much depth that a lot of times if you dig enough, you can find synergy even in character. Like, how like Justin Wong is doing videos where like people just send him three characters and he can he like digs up and finds 100% combos for them and like even though if they're characters that no one's ever like worked on finding stuff for if you try hard enough you might be able to find stuff just because there's a lot of depth so uh, you can definitely play who you want but there are certain team comp ideas that are sort of universally good all right, the Chun-Li uppercut assist. You know, I think that's another underrated assist for one point. It's not invincible or anything, but it has a decent hitbox, and you can combo off it sometimes. It's kind of similar to, like, Wolverine uppercut. Let's fly. Typhoon fire. Rocket punch. All right, the do doggy coming in from off screen. Man, Sentinel is good though. Sentinel is pretty good. Okay, the raw tag. Wait a minute. Oh no, he dropped the launch. Unforge. Typhoon fire. All right, down to the last character. All right, 2-0 Skarm here. That was a lot of chip, man. Skarm about to put this away. Now, I believe Skarm has only lost one game in the tournament. Is that true? Skarm lost one game to X Prominence, right? I think it's the only game he's lost in the tournament. And we could be about to close it out here. Venom. Wow, that's a uh, Venom Sabretooth is actually a cracked team because of Sabretooth uh, projectile assist. <laughs> Sabretooth projectile is ridiculous. That move is like actually crazy. Um, the only problem with Sabretooth projectile is some characters can duck it, but I'm pretty sure for some reason Chun Li is like weirdly tall. Chun Li is actually like taller than um, Ryu and Ken. So Ryu and Ken, I'm pretty sure can duck Sabretooth, but I don't think Chun can. I guess it's like the hair buns. The hair buns make her taller. Oh, the DHC there is brutal. Mm, rocket punch. Yeah, Venom Saber is really cheap. Ve uh, Sabretooth sets up like a lot of characters, I think. Uh, he's actually like a really underrated character, but that it, it is a problem that some characters can duck it. Like sometimes it just feels really hard to win because all your setups don't work because they're short. All right, the electricity dealing the big damage to Jalapeno. All right, the electricity not doing a lot of chip, but it is safe. All right, the drones are going to close it out. 
In comes Sabretooth. Berserker Claw. Uh, yeah, this is the other reason why Sabretooth is kind of good. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be wow. The immediate, the second he took the last hit, man. All right, Skarm is gonna take the tournament. The betters have it. Well played to everybody. Well, that was a that was a heck of a tournament, man. The ringers came in and they wreaked havoc for sure. Uh, I I am able to announce our next tournaments. We're doing JM Cup and we are doing Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma with the rollback mod. Well, not mod, the rollback beta. Central Fiction, sorry, not Chrono Phantasma. I'm sorry guys, I don't know Blaze Blue, Central Fiction. I saw CF and I was like Chrono Phantasma. Huh? No, Central Fiction. The 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 new version that uh, <laughs> You guys know what I mean. 